All right, everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be installing many parts to the JCW. We're actually going to be de-chroming the whole rear end. Um, we're not doing the belt line in today's video, which is this little chrome bit around the car, um, but we're going to be getting rid of these chrome bits around the lights, the new black 2022 badge in there, and the John Cooper Works badge is also going to be blacked out. But if we look in the boot, we have a look here. I've got the black surrounds which will be going on around the back lights there as you can see and in here is the badges so this is the black jcw badge i'll get it out when we actually install it but as you can see i've gone with the black and red writing and in here the new the newest shape badge basically so if you look at the difference if you look at the difference basically uh, this is just the new style of badge instead of it all being filled in like this it's got like little lines and stuff and it's also blacked out which is nice so uh, get rid of that chrome get rid of that chrome and get rid of this chrome here okay so we're now in the garage and we're going to start off with the first mod and uh, I reckon that will be the big one which is around the head the the rear lights basically so um i'm going to be showing you exactly how we do this and it's pretty simple on the videos i've seen okay so now the boot is open uh you want to get some prying tools stuff like that because this just clicks off now we need to try and find a place where we can get in which looks like it's going to be around here Alright, here we go, it's slowly coming off. And there we go, that is all off. Alright, nice, all the clips have now come off without a break, which is always the best result. Okay, so here is the new black one, as you can see, all the clips in place. Now hopefully this should just push back on over the top. Alright, I think that might be it. I think that might be it. There you go, there's another one in. Just go around making sure all the clips have clicked in successfully, which I believe they have. The black compared to the car, oh, look at the difference. That looks insane. Let's put the boot down quick. Oh yes, look at that. Look at the difference between the chrome and the black. That looks so good. That is such a quick and easy job as well. I'll put all the links to these mods down in the description as well if you guys are wondering where I've got them from. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got these, these black surrounds from Kill All Chrome. If you're wondering where I'm getting the badges from, I got them from eBay uh, from a company called SMPS. Okay. Now this should be pretty quick I would suggest having two two prime tools just because it just makes it a bit easier when you can get around the outside of the thing it's so much easier to un unclip these around here than in here but I think you have to start off here because you can get a leverage on it there we go here is the other one but same process again just clicking it clicking it in that is done all right let's put it to put the boot down honestly the difference that has made the, from before and after that looks oh that looks so good so now we've got to remove both of them and then uh then you know what's gonna happen it's gonna highlight the belt line which i have to do all around the car which i'll eventually do in a different video okay so i have the mini badge in here and it looks like it's come with a nice air freshener which i'll have to put in as I say, these ones are from SMPS on their eBay shop, not on their website for some reason. I'm going to take the other one off first and uh, then we'll go away and put this on. Okay, now I've got a hair dryer because um, this will just heat it up. I haven't actually got a heat gun, so uh, this will have to do, but hair dryer does the job. Okay, for anyone wondering, that just heats up the glue behind here to make it a bit easier to remove. And of course, what I use to get rid of it is dental floss, which is one of those things that everyone has around their house and uh, does the job all right, hopefully. So um, put it in behind, just go behind like this. Alright, so that is the mini badge off the old one. As you can see, there's like two pins inside which go in the hole, so lining it up isn't an issue. Yeah, it's just the glue now that we have to try and get off the little the residue and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, let's try and get this off. Okay, I've managed to get off like 99% of it. 
as best I can using like a little cloth and the hairdryer just to make the glue a bit better. So that is literally, I think as good as I'm gonna get it. So the new badge, I think we have to, all right. So literally peel it off. All right, just slot it with the two little points there in the original holes, like so. That looks a bit weird to me. I feel like it's too high. It looks better, as in like the badge blacked out, but the fitment's not insane, I have to say. Yeah, but that, nah, that looks fine. That looks fine. It's a bit weird, but honestly, it does the job, it does the job. The black looks so much better than before. Another little mod added. There we go. Okay, so masking tape, very, very important. All right, that is it marked up now. Okay, so we want to do this heat up first just to make the glue a bit gooier so it comes off easier. Okay, once again, quite a bit of the glue came off. There's still some left on there, but hopefully this comes off a bit easier than the other one. I think it will. Yeah, hopefully. There's the old badge all off. And um, this was looking a bit tired anyway, I thought. But yeah, now it's time to try and just peel off the rest of this stuff. Okay, so that has actually now come off really well. And there's literally no glue left and everything. And it's a really nice smooth surface. So uh, I think it's now ready to put on the new one. Okay, so the new one here from SMPS. There it is. John Cooper works in the red writing. I could have gone with John Cooper in red and then have the works in black, but I thought let's have it all in red and uh, the rest in black. As you can see, just some tape to take off and stick over the top. I'm gonna line it up first just to see. There, that's where it needs to go. All right, nice, okay. I want to do is just remove the tape now so we can get a better look at it. I am happy with that. Complete. That is good. That is in position. So here it is, the fully blacked out rear end on the JCW. That black John Cooper Works badge looks so good. Along with the mini badge, which is slightly too high, but we can gloss over that. That's fine. And uh, the blacks, these look, these are a massive difference because that's a lot of chrome. These are just little bits of chrome which also add up. And this will be needed to do ASAP because this shines out like a sore thumb now. That rear end now looks so much meaner. Looks so much better, Jesus. I think we need to get it outside and take some photos. <laughs> Okay, so the car is now outside and I am so pleased with the way this looks. The black makes it look so more, so much more aggressive. Oh, in the sunlight it looks so good. I've given it a little wipe and a clean at the back so it doesn't look so dirty, but the mini badge, you know, that's all right. That is, I'm pleased with that. And I'm, I'm pleased with that, all of that, to be honest. That looks from the rear end. Look at that. Look at that. How much more aggressive does that look? I am so, so pleased with that. But um, that is such a good looking car. Honestly, the black has changed the rear end on this. And I'm so pleased. But uh, that is going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed and you uh, now know how to do it if you didn't already. And um, yeah, that has changed the back end of this car. And I absolutely love it. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. And we're going to be so many more mods to this. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.